But do you think our planet is visited by extraterrestrials? Absolutely, no doubt about it. In my 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 conscience says I don't have a proof. You're the chairperson of ISRO, sir. Yeah, yeah. I am telling you, I I it it comes from out of my earlier statement that there are aliens out in the universe. Aliens means living systems are there, cultures are there in other part of this universe. Then they would have definitely visited us if they are ahead in technology than us. Say. Thousand years, ten thousand years ahead. Ten thousand years again is also minuscule time scale in the evolution of the universe. Just imagine a a, a society which is ten thousand years ahead in technology compared to us. Where will they be? They will be frequently coming and going out of Earth without ever we knowing it. It's the equivalent of us keeping lions in a zoo. <laughs> yeah, right. We <laughs> yeah. are the lions in the zoo for them. Precisely. Like yes. our planet is the zoo. Precisely. Yes. Do you think that they would be benevolent or malevolent? in either way i will be happy never to be in touch with them i will really? tell you why yes there is a reason see the the biology is such that we are, we are evolved out of a common biology that connects every living creature on the surface of earth whether it is plant whether it is bacteria whether it is fish or animal and we are one and the same you look at the genomics you will understand this one and the same there is no nature which is a protein which is different in nature in on, on the surface of earth everything evolved out of single possible life form so we are all connected in some manner Where, but suppose something that evolved in another planet would have been synthesized in an entirely different manner it may not have the similar genome structure it may not have the similar protein structure and it is utterly dangerous to for all two life forms to come in contact with each other the moment it contact with each other something has to overtake the other this is the nature of the life okay one will not allow the other one to survive it has to be overtaken and destroyed so unless they have a conscience above this okay they realize these two are different and we need to remain disconnected in terms of the body or the chemic chemistry of it and keep that apart and work together to find a solution to for us to meet each other not at the level of the mind and the thought but in the level of the body if that doesn't happen it will cause destruction either to them or to us basically they might be carrying some kind of diseases which i'm not can... talking in terms of disease it it's in terms of the way in which we live the 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 form of the body the, our blood our way we ox for example oxygen we breathe oxygen what is the guarantee oxygen is the gas that they need for us for them to live we don't mm. know in fact i have seen a science fiction novel in which they breathe methane in mm. one planet there is another and they float on the air with a huge balloon on them there was a nasa documentary on it so such forms are possible and they they come in contact with us it will be extremely dangerous for us or we in contact with them will be dangerous for them okay do you believe in any of these theories like uh, the lizard people or the anunnaki which say that probably they've taken human form and they are with us right now on this <laughs> planet and, because if if they are 10000 years ahead of us yeah. they would have accounted for even this uh, biological problem possible possible they would have found out found out a solution i don't have a solution today to make these two work together but they would have already found out a solution we just two lions talking to yeah. each other right now <laughs> those are the human beings outside the cage true 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 yeah we can talk like that <laughs> do those scientists at isro talk about extraterrestrial life to each other there are many people in isro who are fascinated by all of this so whenever we in free time evenings when we converse in free times possibly we talk about all of this yes okay yeah especially with the young, my younger colleagues i spend a lot of time okay 